Gwen Stevenson is a journalist and climate activist who's been documenting life on the front lines of the environmental movement. He is the author of a new book, What We're Fighting For Now Is Each Other. And Gwen joins us today from Boston. Well, welcome to Context. Thank you, it's great uh, to be here. Okay, let's talk about ignoring climate change. What, what happens if we just carry on and ignore it? Um, you mean if we just go on with business as usual at this point? Absolutely. Um, scientists are pretty certain that if that happens, uh, we will eventually melt uh, all of the Arctic and Antarctic ice sheets and sea levels will rise, oh, something like 200 feet within the next um, couple of centuries or more. Uh, that's, that's one example. Uh, but on a much nearer time frame, um, if we don't start reining in uh, carbon dioxide emissions in a, in a really major way, uh, we're, we're going to see, you know, potentially, um, you know, an, an intensification of the droughts, the storms, uh, the sea level rise, all, all, of, the, all of the things that, that, that come along with um, climate change within this century. You, you highlight some of these amazing people that are working in, in issues. I love the story about your friend, Bill McKibben. We've got fans of his in the audience tonight. Um, but you, you, you write that the sheer push is coming from so many places. You wonder if the hand of God is part of this wake-up call on climate intervention. And you and Bill have an exchange about that. Do you think God is at work in our in our conscience, waking us up to, to climate. Right, well, I guess it depends on what you mean by God. <laughs> um, as I asked Bill there, uh, and he says he's, he's more of a, uh, a Holy Spirit kind of guy. <laughs> and uh, he, that he, he, you know, when he looks at the um, thousands and tens of thousands of, of photos uh, in the 350.org uh, Flickr account, of people all around the world now uh, organizing uh, to, to, to build this movement. Um, he says, yeah, you know, uh, he says to me, uh, something more than just self-interest is, is moving people to act. Um, and I, I would agree with that. Whatever one names it, uh, um, I do believe that there is a kind of spiritual connection that people feel, whether it's to God or whether it's simply to one another. 